Mark the Meerkat for an in for D7 with the Bride Market Review for February the 16th, 2016. Bullish or bearish day on Wall Street? It was bullish, yes. The S&P up 1.69% and the Dow up 1.39%. So those two were together and then we had a lead in the way up the tech stocks and the small caps at plus 2.5%. 2 and 2.3 percent. Hua, that's more bullish than bearish. And take a look at Bank. It went along for the ride, folks, up 2.25 percent. Hua. We even had the VIX drop all the way to 24.06, down 5.2 percent. But again, we are still in the volatile range. Over 20, 20 to 30 is volatile. And then we've got the silver and gold today. People are taking the money back out of that. They're not seeing the fear in there. They're not buying that one as a defensive measure. And oil dropped a fraction today to 0 0.24. So we've got the dollar up just a fraction. And we've got a no trend trade for the GRAC graduates out there. It's at the neutral zone there. So let's take a look at the S&P 500 daily chart on the via the SPY ETF and here we were we were down here we broke this major line of support and then we immediately pierced back up here and mended itself and then today kaboom on this falling wedge which is a bullish formation it did bust out from there personally I did uh, take off my shorts and I'm now either neutral or I am all cash depending on the account now one thing I want to notice here is that we did have a bit of a double bottom, at least from a shadow standpoint. On Thursday afternoon, it tagged right here at the same exact area that it did back here. Then we had some news in the market, and then JP Morgan's president bought a bunch of shares, and then we had some other news. And then we've had the three biggest updates in the S&P since August. That's right, since August of 2015, the three biggest days in a row. That's good news. So we are on a way up, but uh, we have some resistances. Where's the next line of resistance? Right here at 193.77 at this prior swing high. So the, to me, this is kind of a danger zone in here. And we're looking at uh, it could turn around here at any time. But if it does bust on through that, then I'll be, I'll be all full out bullish. Right now, I'm neutral. And then we've got the DIA here, which is the Dow Jones Industrials. It was in a bit of a falling wedge and it too broke out from that bullish formation. Now here are the Q's uh, up 2.25 percent today and it was in a nice falling wedge and it too had almost a double bottom down here boom and we just closed above it right just below the 20 moving average and now we have some uh, a line of resistance here next line of resistance on the Q's is up here above the 104 area and the last swing high after we get past that 20 moving average. Then we got the small caps here represented by the the IWM ETF on the Russell 2000. Look at that wedge and boom pops right out of it again. Three days here in a row of uptime. But well here's the bad news and it was on the other stocks too. What about volume? It's dropping here. Now Friday was you know a day before vacation on the long weekend and this is Tuesday here. It is also lower volume. So the bad news is it was a bit larger volume on the downstroke, smaller volume on the upstroke. So that's not quite as bullish. And this one here also stopped just short of the 20 moving average. Next line of resistance there is at 103. Prior swing high, the area there. All right, back to the S&P. Again, I am now a neutral. Uh, I am no longer on the bearish side as we are in this middle zone right here. Uh, if it does break out above this next line of resistance, then I'll be going bullish. But until then, there are some bearish signs in the market between volume and possible lines of resistance here. I'm still going to be cautious and wait to see what happens next. Mark the Meerkat. Hey, are you satisfied with your trading? If not, take a look at this message. Trade well.